everyone this is Joanne welcome to my channel and the Bramble Fox channel as well I'm gonna use a whole bunch of things today I absolutely love the December 23 hip kits it's winter themes but the colors are just absolutely beautiful so what I did is I used this Bramble Fox tool it is amazing scalloped edges here and then this right here you can trace and then it kind of looks like the top of a big envelope, doesn't it? It's so cool. So I cut this pattern paper out. All I did was put it on the paper, trace it, and then fussy cut it. And then I glued some tape in underneath and put some lace trim. And then I have this up on some adhesive foam. And this is awesome adhesive foam that I got from Amazon. I love it. It's adhesive on both sides. So I'm going to just take this off and I'm going to put it on the top. So this is an awesome base page for you. This is probably about two and a half and then I ripped it. Okay, super pretty. So this can be just pattern paper. It doesn't have to be ripped or snowflakes. So you can use that. I'm using this collection, December 2023 hip kits. I can't remember if I said that because look at the cutest pictures of my little baby bitty. I just had to. I just think that with her fur and the blanket and the wood grain of what she was laying on underneath is absolutely perfect for this color theme. And okay, so I got all my embellishments out to the side over here on the right hand side and I'm sort of scrap lifting myself. I did something similar in a Christmas layout, but I absolutely just loved the way it came out. So I'm going to do it again. Look at this piece of chipboard. It's a kitty in a chair, candles, lantern, blanket. I mean, how cute is that? So maybe I'll switch these because there's more space, free space in the corner here. And I was thinking about putting this chair here. So I will move this up to about right there because that is going to be, I want this chair to like sit on the branding strip. And then I have this frame, which I'm going to tuck in here. And I don't want it to be some white and some pattern paper. I want all the pattern paper to be inside this frame here. And then I have this heart, which is fussy cut from a previous Hip Kit Club pocket card. And I just thought it was perfect perfect with this collection and adds the little flowers into it so we can make a little cluster over here so I think that this is good maybe I might want to do it like this and then I have this which is a paper snip from Bramble Fox and there's all kinds of cat things in the shop I'm gonna put forever forever friend right there paper snip cute <gasps> I love it all right so I think that I'll leave this here so then I'll know where to put my photo all right so I have this started over here it came out really cute isn't it lovely I just love the colors with her um, fur okay so I picked out flowers and leaves and this circle like mandela doily like sticker just to put coming out of the corner here i'm not sure exactly where i want that so i took the stick off the back of it and this flower is shorter petals on this side and longer on this side so i'll put the shorter ones in the corner here like this and that's going to help me figure out how far in I can sc 
scooch this sticker. I just want it to be like a little accent underneath there. And then I won't glue anything down until I figure out what I'm doing here. Mm. Do I want a layer here? And now let's put this one here. Just tucking it in. You know what I'll do? I'll cut this right in half because I can use the other leaves elsewhere. No sense tucking it in if you can't see it. And you can use the other side on a different layout. So, yeah, like that. And then here's this. That's good. And then I have another yellow flower, which is so beautiful. There we go with that. And then I'll tuck in that leaf there. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. Let's look and see what this is. This says, what a moment. Hello there. This might, that's going to be too big. Oh, this will be a totally new color. So much fun. That's pretty too. But let's do yes to this. If I can get it. So it looks good and I can still read it. If that's the case, I'm going to want to pull this up which I'm not going to be able to do, so maybe this isn't the one that I want. But you never know. We might be able to make it work. I think I'm just going to do it because I can still read it. It's bringing in a lovely new color, and I got to use some of my stickers either way, right? So I'll put some glue there. This kit has these really pretty pearls. I'm wondering, let's put some... Blue and yellow are complementary colors, so I'm definitely going to do blue on that. And then maybe, I think I'll do the same ones. This is my favorite color out of the three of them. This is so gorgeous. Oh my god, this is so pretty. We haven't even gotten to any of the Bramble Box stuff yet, except for this one little paper snip. The title that I'm using is Cat's Whiskers. No, stop it. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Look at the shadow that it provides. It's closed font on the bottom, open font on the top. It's like a very pretty whitish gray. It's not quite gray and it's not quite white. So, so pretty. So, in order to make that stand out more, I'm going to use some Shimmers paints. What I do is I swatch it out on a piece of paper just to make sure I like it and look. It's perfect, isn't it? Yes, it is. So I just did that. And then what I'm going to do is grab this new mixed media stamp set from Bramble Fox, which I'm in love with. I keep using it like every single time and that's okay with me because I love it. So what I'll do is both colors. And you just want to tap it on there. You can put some on your table and just tap it in it that way too. But this way I'm not wasting my paint. And if you tap it on there, if you go like this, it just spreads it around and it doesn't cover everything. So if I tap, it'll be just fine. So let me do one here. And it's not going to come out perfect because it's not ink, it's paint. And that's fine. I'm not looking for perfects right here, but look how fun that is. Oh my goodness gracious. flare from Bramble Fox. I'm thinking it would go really cute right there. I have two that I want to use actually. 
it's got a gray kitty and it says perfect and this one has two kitties wrapped in a little blanket and it says bundle up I'm gonna put him up there I'm gonna put this one here which is adorable which this way I'll have two circles on the page so these come in the paper snips and they're on the bottom and you just punch them with a one inch punch or handcuff them and we have the, epox the, the epoxy flare topping um, in the shop too you can buy a whole package of those and you can use them to make your own flare button with paper snips or you can go ahead and just use pattern paper and make your own okay I'm flinging stuff all over the place I have a couple more paper snips it says perfect in every way and this one says pretty kitty Use this other epoxy flare up here and just make a tiny cluster up on the top. This is the circle that came out of the middle of that Mandela sticker. And I was like, hmm, why don't we put it around the flare just to make the flare button pop off the page a little bit more and then bring in some more of that color. That might be cute though. It's a little calendar of December and it did happen in December. It kind of fits in there perfect. Okay, I don't mind that at all. So I'm gonna put this back. If I can get it in there the right way. Okay, here we go. And then, since we have that calendar there, I wonder if I can get a little candle in here or if that would just be too much. Don't mind it. I'm just wondering if this would look cute underneath here. Sort of does. And I, it's on a cake stand. I don't need that. And it'll just cause me to have to lift this up even more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that there. And let it go loosely before I press, just to make sure I like it. Ooh, look at this sticker. Hmm. See the point right here of the envelope? I wonder if I should put it underneath that. I think I like that better. I could put it on a piece of foam. Maybe this one. I might slide this underneath there and then put this here I have to get it in the right spot and they are stickers so they stick every time I try to slide these are cardstock stickers so they're way thicker and I love them all right I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna put a foam square <laughs> behind that little gingerbread house thing Ooh, I left the top off my glue. Oh, it still works. All right, let me slide this in here. Another perspective paper snip, I meant to say. Yeah, that's cute. Here, here, here. We have one, two, three. Wait, one, two, three, four, five paper snips. Six paper snips. That's awesome. So I think that that is going to be it. I'm just wondering if I should put some of those dots right there. Might want to. Let me see. Can always take them off. I don't think the adhesive came with that one. If I don't like them, but I think that they're gonna look cute. Yep, adorable. Okay, all done. Let me bring it in. 
here's this those paper snips there and again you can make your own epoxy flares with the paper snips or you can just buy the epoxy flare clear button top and use your paint pattern paper there's the lace underneath the top of the envelope from the bramble fox tool that we used and here's this over here and there's miss fitty and again these are all the kitty perspectives but if you have a dog those are also available okay I really like how this came out that is cute and I like the mixed media behind the title there so you can see it really well okay my friends I will put close-ups at the end I will link every single thing that I used in the description box below I hope that you enjoyed this please consider joining my channel if you have not already done so and also join the Bramble Fox channel. The Bramble Fox design team members are amazing. Um, I absolutely love all of them and all the beautiful designs that they make and not all of them are on YouTube so please visit the Bramble Fox website and go to our blog and our Instagram page and see all their work because it's just amazing. You'll be so inspired by their designs. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. I'll see you again soon. Bye.